it happened again. What is wrong with this team? Deja vu all over again for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Where do the Leafs go from here? It was very hard to watch, but just hear me out for a second. There is a house built out of stone. I grew up a die-hard Leafs fan. Wooden floors, walls, and windows. For me, dying hard starts with the numbers. Tables and chairs when the 94 Rangers won their first cup in 54 years, they ended the longest championship drought in NHL history. Until now. There's also this number. That's how many years since the Leafs have won a playoff series. This is the number of consecutive seasons we've lost in the first round. But 2021 was going to be the year that those numbers were finally being retired. This year, despite the dread of COVID, while Leafs Nation watched from behind closed doors, the winds of change were howling through the streets of my beloved hometown. Under the right leadership, with a roster full of emerging superstars, the Toronto Maple Leafs were going to be bona fide Stanley Cup contenders. So what exactly happened here? Grab a brew and get comfy. You're going to want to see this. Really? Yeah, I think Spencer talked about it a couple weeks ago. Like, he was like popping. Did you tighten him up? I'm down in the size. Real simple half ice breakouts we're going to do here. Just going to get you some touches out of the zone. He's got here, he's going to pass it to the top. It's like he's passing it low to high to the D. Okay, here we go. First group here, yay! It's Sheldon Keefe's first full season as head coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs. When you take this job, you know the stakes are extremely high. There's incredible responsibility here and incredible opportunity at the same time. From day one of training camp, we've got a very committed and focused group to live up to those expectations. Keefe was hired midway through last season by Kyle Dubas, the youngest general manager in the NHL. Fans will come up and tell you, you know, I, I just want you to, the team to win the Stanley Cup before I die. Certainly you feel a desire to win for those people because their support makes this special. Yep, up the wall, here we go, yep. The team was built with an exciting young core made of high draft picks. Austin Matthews is one of the best players in hockey. Austin Matthews, great move, scores! It's extremely important, you know, for this team to get to that final goal, which is winning the Stanley Cup. Let's go, like, we're right in it. Mitch loves playing hockey for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Who's your favorite hockey team? Toronto Maple Leafs. Every kid wants to play for the Maple Leafs growing up here in Toronto, and I've been fortunate enough to be here five years. A couple sentences on William Nylander. <laughs> Unique, extraordinarily talented. In front, Nylander scores! What a goal! I think we have a chance of winning the Stanley Cup. Then Dubas convinced a free agent superstar to come back home. As the captain of the team, John is the definition of leadership by example. Oh, good pass. The narrative around the team is that the team has not performed in the playoffs. We have a team that has been through disappointments. I've been a part of that journey with them now, so we don't want to feel that. So let's not just flip the switch when the playoffs come, but let's play to that level right from the start. We did a nice job. Any time there, we had to adjust and get into that one and a half. I thought we adjusted really well. I'm going to give the puck to the D. See when you get it, just pull it back a little bit. Really make this structure have to fall into place. After last year's early exit in the bubble, Kyle wanted more experience. So we brought in some notable veterans. Wayne Simmons. 
come in with a, a good attitude every day and, you know, help keep the boys up. Zach Bogosian. The Tampa Bay Lightning have won the Stanley Cup! It's so hard to put into words how you feel when you grab a hold of that trophy and, and lift it over your head. And Joe Thornton. Thornton in front to Marlo, he scores! Are you kidding me with that pass? I know why I still play this game, and it's just to compete every night. They're all good players. We wanted to bring them in to improve that energy and spirit of the group, which I thought lacked last season. Hey, but we got to stay on the offense, like, for fucking 40 seconds. It's fun down there. It's fucking fun down there. Fuck. Keefe is kicking off the season by playing Thornton on the first line with Marner and Matthews. Jumbo's great. I think he's got the most energy out of any guy on the team. Austin's just the full package. Size, strength, speed. We got to keep the offenses going a little bit. Yeah. And I think Mitch, just the stuff he does, I haven't seen before. And I've been around a long time. You rarely see a guy like him. You know, these fans are very, very lucky to have two great guys. I mean, like, incredible guys. Oh, oh, oh there it is. Fucking A. Close!